tomorrow is officially the first day of fall. The apple harvest I hear is excellent this year. So the gooseberry patch ladies are in. They know what to do with all those bushels of apples. Cook them. Vicky, Vicky uh, Hutchins and Joanne Martin are going to be making one of their top five apple recipes this morning. So uh, Vicky and Joanne, great to see you ladies. Hi. Nice so uh, what are we going to make today? An apple bee braid is apple, what it is. Apple bee braid. Yeah, it's kind that's, of a savory bread. Okay. It's, it's one of those. It's really easy to make, and we're going to let you help us. Mm -hmm. That'll be great. going to start it, so why don't you go ahead and get started. Okay. Right. Easy is good. Right. So, Vicki, what, what do we start with? We're starting with a crescent roll dough. Okay. So that's really easy. You just roll it out and, and put it on your, your baking sheet, and we're going to fill it with this. We're going to put this right down the center. Do you want to do that? Piece? I'll do Would that like here. So that? What, now right what do we have We've in here right We've now? This, apples, is, this is cooked? Brown apples, sugar. brown sugar, butter, and raisins, and almonds. Oh. And if you don't like raisins, you can use dried cranberries or apricots. Oh, okay. Uh, you don't and like you can substitute right? the nuts, whatever kind yes, of nuts that you like exactly. to put in Oh, look, he's doing that so okay. well. Just down, looks down like the pro. center like that? There you go. Do you have any gooseberry patch men? Oh, sure. Because maybe, okay. Oh, we have so a lot I'd of I like to work group. towards that. <laughs> okay, so then you just kind of like, you, the whole thing, get it all yeah, in there? Yes, Fill it exactly. All, in there. all right, got to get it nice and okay. stuffed full. Now, were okay. these lines already there, or did you have to cut we those We just in? cut those to make right. it easy right. today, but it's really just a matter of taking up. a knife and cutting okay. them through. Okay. Okay. Get this out you know, of the way. It's a really all simple right. recipe. Okay, Pete, now you, if you'd like to put the brie on. Just take it with your hands, just sprinkle it on. Just sprinkle the brie. Yeah. So often gooey. And, and then, then we were saying cheddar brie. cheese would, mm -hmm. would be yummy too and kind of savory. Some people don't like brie, but I love it. It's really mild. Yeah, and I was going to say because it seems like with apples, a lot of people do like cheddar, right? I mean, exactly. That does it's go a perfect with that. compliment. And uh, then jo Joanne's going to show us how to uh, braid the brie. And it's really bread. intimidating. Everybody <laughs> looks at it. I know we've it's, said it. It's pretty hard to say. <laughs> the braid the brie. Exactly. But everybody's intimidated okay. by it, but it's really very, very easy. So I'm and just going to show you how watch. easy it is. And I'm going to let you even do it. I'm just going to do it. It's just right over left, you know? Right over left. Left. Right. Wait, I, and, need, I need to remember. Okay. okay. And you know what? If you don't do it exactly the same way, it's fine. You just kind of do it quickly. Okay. If you were doing it with bread dough, do you want to try it, Pete? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let me, let me if you were doing it, shot. just right first and then left. If okay. you were doing it with bread dough, it would rise a little bit uh -huh. and it would just puff up. This is what we did with bread dough here. But to simplify Whoops. things, we've used crescent, crescent rolls. rolls. Mm -hmm. All right. So it keeps it so. kind of like nice and flaky then, too. Exactly. Right? Exactly. All right. That is cool. So then once you get this, you know, all fold it over here. I'm, I'm not so great yes. with the braid. No, you're fine. You're, you're, it looks good. Perfect. All right. And it's going to taste wonderful no matter yes. what. And then we're going to glaze it with brown sugar. And then just, just close up, up the yep. end here. And butter. Ooh. What do you have in there now? Brown Apple? sugar and brown butter. Brown sugar and mm -hmm. butter. That's, That's it. it. That's it. And then I think we were baking this at 350 Would for... Would you like to do that? How long yeah, did sure. we do it? How long were we baking for? Uh, 350 for 30 minutes. Right. And then Ooh. when it comes out, it looks like this. Just 30 minutes, so you don't have to wait that long no, to enjoy it. Let it cool for great. a little bit. It's yeah. great for a tailgate party or a brunch, a holiday table. Oh, I it think this would be amazing for anything. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. All right. And then when you see it when it's finished, this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of got that puff pastry. You can that see the delicious. raisins. Oh, it really does. It's yeah, delicious. look at that. You know, a little bit warmed up. It would be... Oh, that'd be fantastic. So you're going to do Every this now, right? I, I okay. would love to try making this myself. It, it really is very easy, and I want to thank you, ladies. Now, this is just one of the five favorite recipes we talked about. You're going to make the other four in just yes, a bit, right? We'll be yes. Back. yes. All right, so make sure you stick around for that. Now, the recipe for this is on our website. Go to myfox28columbus.com and click on recipes. So uh, there you go, Lisa, Dana, easy to make. And Dana, I know you're gonna try some of these other recipes. I in a can't bit. wait, that looks delicious. You did some expert braiding. I'm very oh, proud why, thank of you. you. Very well and done. And beautiful, yeah, that's amazing. Thanks, Pete. <laughs>